Hey YouTube, how's it going? So uh, before I begin today, I uh, just wanted to give some uh, special thanks. Uh, so first and foremost, I wanted to give thanks to Jeff Harvey over there at uh, Rock Ridge Four Wheel Drive. Uh, amazing customer support. Uh, he really helped me uh, get through uh, getting the right hubs for the uh, lockout conversion that you can see is now completed here on the front. Uh, again, it was my era. I ordered after what I saw in the picture uh, and what I ordered was actually the dual rear wheel kit. Uh, but the team there was super solid and uh, you know, it helped me get the parts I needed as quickly as possible. So again, you know, thanks to Jeff uh, out there at Rock Ridge 4 Wheel Drive. I appreciate the support. And then uh, to CJC uh, Off-Road, uh, as you can see from the Carly system, and I know I've showed that in a couple of videos before, um, but they, they were amazing. Uh, I had been waiting for over two months uh, for the Synergy kit, which I thought was a great kit, uh, but it just couldn't, I couldn't get it in time. And I really needed to move forward with the suspension and all that. And uh, so the team out there at CJC Off-Road, uh, from the minute that I called them to the minute that I received a package, it was like no less than five days. So that's pretty impressive. For any of you that have ordered the Carly system before, I mean, it comes in a pretty substantial crate. So the fact that it made it to my door in five days is is pretty awesome. So thanks again to the team. Uh, so just for the update for for this one, uh, as you can see, so I got the uh, the hubs and everything installed. I got the new brakes installed. Uh, I did end up putting new calipers on it while I was at it. I still need to bleed. Uh, I still need to bleed the brakes, of course, because um, I've had every bit of the braking system apart. Uh, so I will be doing that shortly. Uh, I've shown you all the suspension system a few times. I did finalize most of the steering linkage in it. I, I haven't tightened the track bar yet uh, because I'm waiting until I get the motor in it to do that. Uh, I did finally receive the headlights. I really like these headlights a lot. Uh, I'd light them up for you if I could, but in the process of uh, getting these headlights, I uh, discovered that uh, as many Dodge Ram owners can attest to, uh, I've got a problem with the tip them, right? So as you can see, the to total integrated power module is out of the car. Uh, the first problem I had was actually this connector right here, which is connector D uh, on the, uh, the tip them and one of the the pins had corroded inside this part of the the harness and it, i couldn't get it out so i had to replace this whole connector uh, i unpinned almost all the wires except for this one so this one i had to basically uh, solder and shrink tube you know because i didn't have a way to the connector actually got destroyed by the pin expanding in there so uh, when I replaced the connector, I had to actually replace that wire too. But the guys at Max, uh, they have my tip them right now, but they sent me the harness piece that I needed. Uh, the connector, they actually sent me two. Uh, and uh, although when I got the tip them back, it didn't solve. The problem I'm having is the driver's side uh, passenger headlight doesn't come on. Uh, but I know that when uh, actually connector C here is the one that has the headlight uh, driver side low beam and when I put power to the right pin on this connector the headlight comes on so I know the wiring is good I know all that's good it, I'm pretty sure it's one of the relays inside the board uh, that is the circuit board that's bad uh, but I sent it back uh, of course when you're on the east coast everything you need is on the west coast and, and vice versa so they're out there in California, but again, they've been amazing to work with. Uh, hopefully they can figure out uh, what's going on with this tip them once and for all. Um, so as you can see, there's still no motor in it, uh, but great news on that front too. So CNC, uh, again, been really great to work with. It wasn't their fault. I've been waiting on pistons for uh, almost two months, uh, but they buy the pistons. Their diamond pistons is the brand and uh, they're just waiting for them for a while. They finally came in, they balanced it within a day, the whole rotating assembly, they balanced within a day and then they sent it to me. So I went down to uh, Nashville the other day and dropped the engine off. Uh, Shacklet's Auto Machine is who I'm working with. 
again, just super fortunate to be working with some amazing people. Uh, he met me on a Saturday, which is almost unheard of. And uh, he, you know, was very thorough, asked exactly what it is we're trying to do. And, uh, you know, took good inventory of all the parts. I, I mean, I gave him about $4,000 worth of parts between the Eagle crank and the H beam rods and, and all that. And the, and the crane cam and all the parts to put it back together. Uh, so really excited. Uh, it'll be about four weeks, so you probably won't see a video again for a while uh, that I wait that I'm waiting for the engine to come back. Um, but again, just really happy to have the opportunity to work work with Shacklets, and then uh, of course also really happy to have had the opportunity to work with uh, Rockridge Four Wheel Drive and the CJC folks as well. Uh, you can see I got a gas, tan gas can here in the engine compartment and that's literally because on these years trucks the only way you can prevent the fuel pump from coming on when you turn the key on is by disconnecting the fuel pump at the tank. Uh, there's, there isn't an accessible relay on these to disconnect and I did reach through the bed and I was going to do all that and disconnect the fuel pump and I just said heck with it. I'm just going to put a gas can there. So. Kind of tough to see, you know, I know the lighting in here is always not that great, but uh, for all intensive purposes, I mean, I'm very far down the road to making a regular cab, short bed, Dodge Power Wagon. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what it drives like, and uh, you know, very blessed to have this one as my daily, uh, but I can't wait to start driving this one. As always, appreciate your time, appreciate the folks who come by and watch the videos, and thank you very much.